Tech Campers, welcome back once again to Tech of Tomorrow. It's launch day of the new GeForce GTX 770 from the people at NVIDIA. And we've got one of their non-reference partner cards right here to take a look at that we were just barely able to get our little hands on here on launch day. Now this is EVGA's SC edition, their super clocked edition that features the new ACX cooling. Now this is their active cooling extreme. It's something new. With that said, let's jump in. Let's take the first look of this card and see what it's all about. All right, folks, first off, let's go ahead and get off this anti-static glare packaging here. Take my little trusty knife here and go ahead and cut that and get this stuff all off of here because it's, it's probably glaring in yours and the cameraman's face. So. Let's just go ahead and rip this stuff off like it's Christmas morning. That's a brand new Christmas present. Get that out of there. And let's first take a look at the box. First off, we see two gigabytes of GDDR5 memory and then the GPU Boost 2.0. Now, GPU Boost 2.0 relies on how cool the card is, so the new ACX cooling should have a lot to do with how well this card performs, especially in overclocking and in the boost speeds. So here we see the EVGA name. Here as we transition down to the bottom of the card, we see that they're the number one partner with NVIDIA. That's right. It also features three-way SLI. We see it's the SC Super Clocked Edition and obviously the GeForce GTX 770. We'll just flip it around the back real quick, let you guys see the card. There's nothing really much back here about support for four concurrent displays. Talks about that. The ACX, once again, that's the Active Cooling Extreme, which we'll get into more as we take the card out of the box. But that's all there is. And with that said, let's go ahead once again, take the trusty knife out. Going to go ahead and make another little surgical incision right here on the side of the box. And go ahead and begin the unboxing. So I'll pop the cap here. And go ahead and pull this out. EVGA always puts all their cards in a nice clear plastic shroud. There's also a bunch of other stuff in here for us to take a look at here in this unboxing. So let me get this out of the way and let's start looking at some of this accessory stuff that's falling out before we move on to the card. So where to start my friends? Okay, I guess we'll start out here. Here's the EVGA graphics card user guide. Inside is a CD and also a case emblem with the EVGA logo right there, for you folks who want to use that, powered by EVGA. Next up, we see the attention sticker in bright yellow, just making sure to tell you guys that the car will get hot in operation and to make sure that you plug your power into it to make sure the card runs properly. If it doesn't plug in, it's just gonna go beep. Anyways, it's not gonna run, so make sure you plug the doggone thing in. So next up, we have the EVGA GeForce GTX 700 Quick Start Guy, which is basically just gonna tell you how to connect the card, that you can use it in triple SLI connections, all that good stuff right there for people who don't know how to do it, if you're new to it. We also have an important notice. The EVGA GeForce GTX series graphics is a cutting edge card that ships with the latest technology, including a full UEFI BIOS. So you guys can see it's current with all the latest motherboards and all that stuff, a thank you note from EVGA. We also get stickers, enthusiast built, EVGA enthusiast built. For those people who like stickers, you will like these. They're pretty flashy and pretty cool. Now, we also have dun, 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 a giant size poster, which uh, I guarantee you is going to be on the wall. In fact, if I can get the cameraman to angle up, you guys can see on my wall right now, I have my old school EVGA gaming poster. It's up there on my wall, and I guess I'm gonna have to probably replace that bad boy with this one. All right, folks, we had to go extra wide on this at the same time. For you guys who are wondering what we use for our audio setup, you can see right there what we have. It's pretty cool stuff. And we'll check out the poster right here. It says the Game of Pones. And then down here at the bottom, folks, it says Arm Yourself with EVGA. So with that, let's fold it back up and move on. All right, folks, so those are the three bags. I went ahead and just took the stuff out. So now let's talk about them. We have two Molex to six pin. Then this plugs into your eight pin power on your card. And if you don't have the proper type of connection, there are two six pin adapters right here so you can use those on your power supply. Last but not least, we have the DVI to VGA adapter. So that's all the stuff as far as accessories. Now let's jump in and look at the card. All right, folks, so here's the card. And you guys can see this thing actually looks quite bad ass. It's all black on the shroud, features two fans, you see the EVGA name in the GeForce GTX 770 right here on the side of the card. 
Now down here on the bottom, it's a little more difficult to see, but it says ACX, Active Cooling Extreme. You guys can see that down there. That's everything that's on the front of the card now. I don't know, personally, I just think as far as looks go, this thing looks really, really cool. Now, you guys can see it's a dual slot design. See, they've mixed a little gold in there. Underneath here are all of the aluminum heat sinks right there that are helping take the heat away from your card. We also see the PCIe 3.0 interface right there. I'll flip it around, show you guys a long angle of the card. And that looks really, really cool. You guys can see the three different heat pipes that are all right there. Here's another one right here. Now, like I stated in the very beginning of the video, folks, we just got this card today, so we'll have all the performance specs and everything about this card for you guys in just a couple of days. Now, let me spin the card around to the side right here, and you guys can see this actually looks really clean. Got some nice little design right here, all in gold, GeForce GTX 770 once again. See the heat fins all the way down the side of the card. Uh, in truth, this card is really badass looking. As I'm holding, I'm going, damn, this thing really does look cool. So for someone who's doing modding and they want to do black and gold, this may be your card you just want to use. So check it out. Here's the 6-pin and the 8-pin power. Now this card has a 200-watt TDP. I'm going to flip it around, show you guys the very back of the card. You guys can see most people now are implementing a black PCB. We've kind of seen that across the board with all the cards this time. I'm going to go ahead and pull this off right here. We see the two SLI fingers, and this card can do triple SLI configurations. Let me place this back on here real quick, and let's move around to the rear I.O. of the card, where we see DVI-D, DVI-I, HDMI, standard display port. And these are pretty much the same across the board, no matter what card we've looked at, they've all been the same. All right, everybody, so what do you guys think? Because in all honesty, this is actually one of the most highest requested cards that is on the market. In fact, I bet when this thing hits the shelves at places like Newegg and Amazon, it's going to pretty much sell like that. Being that it's probably going to be priced just a little bit over $400 and it's got its new AC exit cooling, it's going to be a very, very popular item. Now, we know that you guys want the full review of this. Unfortunately, it was just launch day and we just barely got our hands on this card. But if you guys want to see a list of pricing and different cards, make sure you guys look at the link down in the description below. We'll have all of that stuff. Also, if you guys appreciate all the stuff that we're bringing you here on launch day, hit that like button. For the full review and everything, if you guys are impatient and just want to see a review of the reference card and another card, go ahead and check out the video right here or also check out the link in the description down below. I'm Elric. We'll see you guys back here on Tech of Tomorrow with more launch day coverage of the GTX 770.